Hi guys, Jimmy with Jimmy's Auto and Firearms. I've got an interesting firearm I'm going to show you today. It's a 1911 Colt, but it is what is known in the trade as an engraver's model. It's one that goes out to usually to companies or engravers that are to do some engraving on the slide of the firearm. So not very many of these actually get out to the public, shall we say. Uh, that haven't been engraved by some aftermarket company. So we're going to start by showing you two boxes. The top box is the box for this firearm, and you'll notice that it, the uh, part number ends in 38Z, as in zebra. I don't know what that stands for other than that's the engraver's model. The bottom box is one that is the standard model, and then I'll go over and show you the actual differences in the guns. What makes this one different? So there's a look at the boxes. The top box is the one we're going to be talking about today. And then I'll uh, compare it to the standard model. Uh, both of these are 38 Supers. And they are in the stainless. So first off, let me show you one thing that it gets shipped. I'll show it to you briefly, and we'll come back to it. But the first thing you'll probably notice is that this firearm doesn't have any sights on it. Woo, you say. So, they ship the sights. We'll show you the inside of the box. And up here, where the plug normally is that I've got pointing to my fingers, that's where they got a little clear cellophane thing, but the front and rear sights are packed in the box right up here. So that's, that's so after the engraver gets through engraving his fancy work on the slide, they install the sights before they ship the firearm out. So let's go over it. Let's show you first off that this firearm is unloaded, nothing in the chamber, and we're going to remove the slide and uh, let you take a quick look at the bottom of the magazine, 38 Super. And uh, anyway, so the main differences in this engraver's model is the slide portion has no roll marks on it whatsoever. That's so the engraver can take full advantage of that slide to do whatever fancy work that he is so inclined to uh, put on it. So there's what it looks like. You'll also notice that government model is down here on the actual frame of the gun where it says government model. So... Let's compare. First off, we'll, I'll pick up this regular one. I'll, again, show you that it's absolutely unloaded, nothing in the chamber. And there's the empty magazine. So let's get them side by side so that you can see the differences. The bottom one is the engraver's model, and the top one is the standard uh, 191138 Super uh, stainless government model. And you'll notice that it says government model on the, uh, on the slide of the standard model. So that's that side. Let's turn them around. And again, I've got them to where, well, I'm not real good at this, but... Again, there's the opposite side, and you'll notice the differences between the one that's in my left hand, or the lower one, has no roll marks on the slide. doesn't say 38 Super on the slide like the standard government model 38 Super does. So again, this was done so that uh, engravers would have a clean slate to be able to work on. So very few of these get out into the hands of the public. Most of the time they're 
So all the wholesalers that uh, send them on to some of the various engravers, private engravers, that do uh, special editions, as they call them. I'm, uh, so there you have it. It's a model SS38Z in 38 Super. No roll marks on the slide where it would normally say, also say government model has been moved down to the frame of the gun instead of on the slide and it gets shipped with no sights front or rear and they're packaged separately in the uh, standard blue cold box. So I hope you found this an interesting video. It's a gun that doesn't you don't get to look at very often and uh, show the comparison to the standard. I'll do a full rundown on that uh, standard stainless 38 Super in another video. But until next time, gosh, I really appreciate y'all watching my videos. I'm having a blast doing them. Give me a like. Give me a thumbs up. By all means, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you watching. And until next time, we'll see y'all down the road.